seventy percent of the archers that you've taught in the past or that you're going to teach in the future have quit archery or will quit archery because they get shooting problems up here. The next lesson we're going to give you a technique to help prevent those and correct those. The title of this presentation is the making and fitting of a string bow training aid. The purpose of this lesson is to show you how to make and fit a string bow training aid for each of the students that you're going to have in your archery class. The reason this is so important is because you want the archers that you teach to stay in archery, don't you? Imagine the thrill a kid has about uh, after learning archery and how much fun it is, and then all of a sudden how great that is, and all of a sudden they end up with a shooting problem here and how terrible that can be when archery is taken from them. So we can avoid that. I want you to get your string bow material. First thing we're going to do is start with an 84 to 90 inch piece of string like this, and I want you to put those two cut ends together so that you've folded the string in half. Now I want you to take your your bow hand, when we're both left handed, so we're going to grab the string with our right hand, because our bow's in our right hand, and grab it like this, about 8 to 10 inches below the loop. Alright? Okay, just like that. Now, now we're going to straddle a line. This is the waiting line here. We'll go ahead and use that one foot on each side of the line with your with your bow arm side towards the target down here okay I'm gonna be d just like this alright now we're going to hook the archers groove in the loop of string here and it's using three fingers and you see the archers groove I have marked on my hand here it's in the joint of the uh, of the index finger below the joint towards the palm of the middle finger and in the joint of the third or the ring finger just like that and it looks like this when we have it in there let me see that how you have it right in the joint of the first and the third and towards the palm away from the joint of the middle finger. There is a nerve in the joint of the middle finger where the hand can go numb if the string is placed in that joint. All right, now you have it hooked. Now I want you to drop your bow arm at your side just like you have here and I want you to raise or hinge your bow arm up towards the target and pull, let me get mine straight here, pull the string back anchoring the top finger in the corner of your smile. Put the top finger, all three fingers should be level, and put the top finger in the corner of your smile, your thumb should be folded down in your palm, just like that, just like this, and look towards the target. All right, now drop the string from your face and pinch where it goes into your hand. We're gonna tie a knot there. This is the hardest part about making a string bow. Tie that knot with one hand right where you pinched it. Okay, when you have that knot done, I'm going to show you, talk to you about lifeline or bow hand placement. All right? Now, this is the bow hand. Notice I've made a mark where my lifeline is. That lifeline is right through the middle of the palm. Let's see where yours is. Yours is right there. That's where the bow grip is going to be, right under that lifeline. So that's where we also want the string bow's grip under that life sign. So put the string bow in that lifeline just like that. Just like that. That's right. And you're going to have a relaxed hand, which means the hands are going to be lightly closed. Now, hook the archer's groove again. Three, in those three fingers, thumb down, raise the bow arm, draw the string bow back to the corner of your smile. Now I'm going to walk out in front and make sure you have that right. Okay, your index in the corner of your smile, your thumbs down, you're in the lifeline. Go ahead and turn your hand just a little bit this way and have a very relaxed grip. Is that relaxed? Perfect. All right. Now see if you're, will your elbow pull back just a little further? You can lower it a little bit. You're still indexed in the corner of your mouth. You have the correct draw length right there. All right, there are three overhead views of, a, of an archer here with various, ver at various draw lengths. The one that's correct is the one clear over here. And imagine, I'm imagining a line drawn from your bow hand through your anchor beyond your elbow. And your elbow should be slightly in front of that line. If your elbow is in slightly in front of that line, that gives you room using back muscles to move that elbow rearward to execute the shot later when we learn that step. If you're too short, if your elbow is far too away in front of that line, then you're going to be holding the string with your biceps. It's going to be harder, holding the bow's weight with your biceps, it's going to be harder for you to get that back motion in to execute the shot. If you're too long, which by the way is where most archers are today, they have the elbow in line or actually behind the line, now you are so overdrawn that it's very difficult to use back motion to execute the shot. So you want to be right here with the elbow in front of that line. Now Gary, I want to show you a couple of ways that you can, that'll help you see whether or not the string bow is, is the correct length or not. And one thing you can do is have your archer go ahead and correctly uh, place the string bow and come to full draw, anchor in the corner of the smile, and then have them bend towards you at the waist, and you can see that line. 
you can go from my bow grip through my anchor beyond my elbow. And if that line extends, if the elbow is right in front of that line, I have the correct draw length. And you can see that better if I'm down here as opposed to here. Another way, let's have you come to full draw now, is to use a string and go ahead and get that right in the lifeline. Come to anchor, thumb down in the palm, and I can take a string and I can put it from your, from your bow hand. I'm going to put it at your anchor and I'm going to extend beyond your elbow. And if that elbow is slightly in front of that straight line, then you are at the correct draw length. And in this case, you are. Now I want to show you what some students will look like from time to time. If they are short drawn, they're going to have the bow, they're going to be like this. And see how that elbow, just like that drawing, is way out there like that. A beginning archer will oftentimes look like that. Obviously you want it to get extended like this. A long drawn archer is going to look like this. They may have an anchor, just like I have an anchor, but you see how my elbow is behind that line? You can't even hardly see it, can you? My elbow's in line or behind it. That's overdrawn. That's a long draw. Now let me show you a couple things you'll see, Gary, with, the, with lifeline placement. You notice what we're doing is we're putting the, li the string bow right in the lifeline like that. Once in a while, you'll see an archer have it way out here on the thumb. If they have the bow's grip way out there on the thumb, they're going to smack their arm. is going to be hit by the bowstring every time they shoot. Or if they have the string way down here on the heel of the palm like that, which a lot of archers do, they'll also hit their arm with the bowstring. So you want it right in the lifeline, and by turning the hand on a 30 to 45 degree angle, which we'll learn more about later, you can keep it there. There's one more step we need to do, and we need to make a sling so that you'll be able to keep this bowstring, this string bow in your hand. We're going to measure about a hand's width above the knot towards the cut ends and we're going to mark that and we're going to tie another knot there. You just want to make sure you've left enough room to get your hand into that sling. Once you have that on there, then put your bow arm, bow hand through that sling, just like that. And sometimes the string bow isn't long enough and there won't be enough string to make a sling, but for most people they can. Now you have to reset the bow, the string bow's grip on your lifeline. Put your thumb in the big loop and I find it's easy if I hold the knot with my finger on that, in that lifeline and then I can put a little tension on it and it'll stay there just like that okay let me see there you've got it in the lifeline okay lightly close your fingers okay that's the proper string bow and I've made sure that it's the correct length still now you've learned how to make and fit a string bow training aid during the next lesson we're going to use this string bow to learn the 11, 11 steps to archery success and you're going to look like this That's what we're going to do next.